folks, I'm talking to a lady who works in a nursing home. A customer. I just found out, allegedly, that if you die with the coronavirus, you're going straight in the ground without doing a blood autopsy. Uh, the funeral home is not going to embalm you. Wendy, I need you to check that out for you. Wendy Michelle Rice. How you doing? Good morning, Wendy. Um, you know, I got to say allegedly because I'm hearing it from a nurse. But she's not going to put it out there. But you know, when you tell me something, I put it out there for my Facebook fans to um, talk about this or think about what's happening. So, Wendy... Do you think that this is true? That they're not going to have a funeral for people who die with the coronavirus? Uh, they saying that the the, um, the funeral directors is not going to embalm the body, take the blood out. You just go straight in the ground without being, uh, what they call it, embalmer fluid or something. So, I mean, I'm just saying, folks, I need y'all to really um, be serious about this coronavirus because, you know, I thought, I'm going to put it on me. I thought if I die, I have a friend who will people come and see me. But they saying that the, um, the funeral home, they're not even going to want to touch them bodies. Because they don't want to get infected. They, they're not going to bomb you. So if you die, you go straight on in the ground like this. Now, is this legal? Uh, is this true? And let me read Wendy on comments. Wendy's saying, I know a fact they are hold up, doing autopsy on a lot of people because it's learning about the virus. Okay. All right. I can go for that. But they saying, okay, autopsy, but that's the doctors. What about the funeral homes? What about the funeral homes when, if a person pass or die, God forbid, will the funeral home people the embalm people, you know, embalm is they gonna have friends for these patients? Now I'm hearing that they just put them in the ground. So that's why I say allegedly because I don't want to give out any false information, you know. And people, you just can't tell me anything because if you try to tell me anything, I'm gonna I'm gonna get Wendy Rice to check it out for you. So. Don't just think y'all can just tell me anything and I'm going to just believe it and talk about it. Y'all know me. I'm going to put it out there. One thing about me, I will let you know. If I don't know, I'm going to put it out there and Wendy, Wendy Rice going to check it out for me. So y'all got a wrong thing coming. If y'all think y'all can just tell me that they're not going to have no funeral for people who die for the coronavirus. They just gonna put them in the ground the next day, you know. So I'm gonna just get, I'm gonna just let Wendy know about this. Yeah, Wendy, they trying to tell me that they're not gonna have any funerals for people if they die on a coronavirus because the funeral home directors and them they not gonna want to embalm the bodies and stuff. So. <coughs> Mm, you ain't going to tell me that. Let me see what Wendy's saying. Now, as far as a funeral, since you have uh, this one going on, uh, funerals are not really being doing, I mean, funerals not being done. I think most are being cremated but I think it's a family choice. But it might only be uh, 
close family, close family. And, and I'm gonna get some glasses too. I don't know why my eyes is like. Do, do when people get old, do they do they eyes like kind of like? No one I be seeing a lot of people with reading glasses when they get up there. You know, remember when we was a kid and we be seeing people with them little reading glasses bent down. So maybe when we get a little older, I don't know, vision, you know, reading glasses. All right, so uh, might only be close families. This is coming. All right, folks, I got to go. Until next time, I got to get out of here. And, and more information should come as permitted. All right? Have a great day.